Hello, I'm going to talk you through how to play Misty Hill, uh, one of the pieces in the London College of Music Grade 3 Acoustic Guitar Syllabus. Um, it was a new syllabus in kind of spring 2020. Uh, this piece has been put together by a chap called Andy Wilson. I really like it. It's got some lovely little shapes in it. Kind of makes me think of a little bit of like kind of James Bay, a little bit Blackbird by Paul, well the Beatles, Paul McCartney, um, and I'll play through a little section of it for you and then jump into a uh, kind of how-to guide to play it. Hey, Misty Hill has um, kind of the A section, the bulk of the song is um, this lovely little um, eight bar section. It's actually repeated, so I'm going to play it twice at the start of the song. We start off playing a little bit of an E minor chord, but we're going to take the E notes and the G notes and we're going to play the first finger on the seventh fret of the A string and the second finger on the eighth fret of the B string. And we're gonna take a finger style approach and have our thumb get the A string note, second finger get the B string note simultaneously. So as you push down with the thumb, you flick up with the second finger. Let's just try four of that. Okay, in the context of the song, we do it once and then the G string, which is open. So it's seven on the A, eight on the B, open G. That open G was kind of delivered via the index finger. And then we go back to eight on the B. That's our first three kind of instances. A and B string together, open G, eight on the B. And then open G again. Let's try those first four things. So it's one and two and in terms of rhythm. They're all quavers. Or eighth notes. Depending how you think. Okay, that's our first two beats worth of notes. Now we move the first finger down the A string to the third fret and the third finger is gonna play the fifth fret of the B and we play the same pattern with the right hand. We play A and B together, first finger on the G open, second finger on the B string note that's still fretted, back to the open G. That two beats worth of note was so we had. That's our first bar. Dynamically we're at kind of mezzo forte, so quite loud. So you need to be quite, not that confident and wrong, you need to be kind of confident and sure about yourself terms of volume, that's our first bar. Bar two sees five on the A, seven on the B, and again they happen together on beat one, and then an open G, second finger gets the seven on the B, on beat two, and then an open G. So at the start of bar two, we've got that going on. And we finish off with a minimum, with the second fret of the A, with the first finger, and the third finger on the third fret of the B. That's for two beats. So bar two gives us. That's lovely. So it's. One and two and three, four. Now, good news! We love repetition, and bar three is the same as bar one. I'm going to play the first two bars together. Now bar three is the same as bar one. And bar four starts off the same as bar two. So it's five on the A, seven on the B. A and B simultaneously, then open G. Seventh fret of the B with the second finger, open G. Now we move up to 12 on the B, 10 on the A simultaneously. On beat three, 
Then we drop the index finger down to nine and the third finger can get 10 on the B and that's simultaneous too. So bar four ends, off with, ends up with that phrase. So we've got that thumb and second finger working together. I'll just play bar four in isolation. And again. Okay, let's take the first four bars. Seven on the A to start, eight on the B. first four bars. The good news keeps on rolling in because bar five is the same as bar one. Bar six is almost the same as bar two. So we've skipped to bar six now because remember bars one, three and five are the same. Bar six sees a five on the A, seven on the B. So we've got that D note going to the F sharp. Kind of root to a major third. A lovely sweet sounding interval. Thumb and second together on B1, open G. Second finger gets the seventh fret of the B, open G. We've done all of that already. Then we drop down for two on the A, three on the B. Now so far that's been identical to bar two. In bar two we went. That last thing rang for two beats. Now we're just gonna end the, add the third fret on the B string on, on beat four. Let me show you in isolation, bar six. So the rhythm now is one and two and three, four. There we have it, first six bars. Lots of similarities going on. I'll play bar one to six slowly. Two beats there. Bar five. extra note on the end of bar six and then we finish with this really beautiful hopeful phrase bar seven on its own is one on the B and an open A and we get same thing going on thumb second finger for those notes thumb on the A second finger on the B and it's A and B open G with the first finger A and B again Second finger gets the high E. So that was. And then two on the A, three on the B. So again, it's A and B, G, A and B, E. So it's the same move as we had. At the start of the bar. Keep that high E ring in, move the first finger to play three on the A. So we get. Oh, sorry, let me do that again, what a mess. And then, bar eight finishes off with three on the A for two beats, and then seven on the B with the third finger, second finger's plucking it with the picking hand, and an open D, which is picked with the thumb. There we have it. I play this through at the start of this video. So if you want to hear those eight bars together, pop back to the start of the video and pick it up from there. So you get a kind of demonstration of what to do. And remember the start of the song, mezzo forte, quite loud, play it two times through. Okay, once we've played our A section, if you like, um, the 16 bars at the start of the song, we move into a bridge kind of thing or a B section. And um, we're playing quieter now because uh, of the MP in the bold italics in the London College of Music, grade three book. Um, and we start off with that figure. Now, we've still got the quaver feel throughout. 
for seven of the eight bars of the bridge of the B section, we're dealing with quavers one and two and three and four and a kind of subdivision of notes. In bar A, it's really easy. We play a minimum on the A and a minimum on the D. We'll come to that shortly. Let's start off with bar one, um, the third line down in the book. We're going to go to start with. That's a really kind of classic move to play around an E minor. Open E with the thumb. First finger on the G string open, second finger on the B string open, first finger on the G string. So we get one and two and, let's do that again, one and two and once more, open E, open G, open B, open G. Watch that your thumb's not kind of too dominant and making that note louder, it needs to be. All the notes nice and even, yeah? Thumb, first finger, second finger, first finger. Then we play the third fret of the A string with the thumb. That's, yeah, with the thumb and the third finger fret in that note. Then an open G and then a one on the B. Pulling off to a zero on the B. So the notes for three and four and are. Thumb gets the three on the A. First finger gets the open G. Second finger gets the one on the B. And then we pull it off, so we drag the string with the tip of the first finger that's fretting it until the finger's almost plucking it down there. You don't want to drag the string and not pull it off because you'll change the pitch of the note. You need to pull it off so it almost plucks it again, so that zero's as loud as the one. You don't want, you want. Okay, so again, whole bar one of this second section. There we go. And then we go second finger to three on the low E string. Get that with your thumb, picking wise. First finger gets an open G. Second finger gets an open B. First finger gets an open G. So that's... And then you drop down, the first finger can get the two on the low E string, the second finger can get a two on the G. And now we get thumb on the E string, first finger for the G string, open B, and first finger on that G string again at the second fret. That's that bar. So for that bar two of this second section, Then I fretted the two on the low E and the two on the G with different fingers, I noticed. Yeah, I'd go for that. So the third fret comes with the second finger. Drop the second finger down for the second fret. Put the third finger on for the second fret of the G. And we get that. First two bars of this new section. Bar three of this new section, or bar 12 of the whole piece, if you like, on the chart is O on the E with the thumb, O on the G with the first finger, O on the B string with the first, uh, second finger, and then an O on the G, so we get. And now we go three on the A, open G, one on the B, open G. Picking some of a C major there. So that bar, Okay, then we move up, move that third finger up to the fifth fret of the A. And we're gonna play five on the A string with the thumb, first finger on the fourth fret of the D string, second finger on the open G, first finger on the fourth fret of the D string. We get that four note phrase. And then we're gonna use the first finger to play a three to zero pull off on the B. And then after that three zero pull off, we play thumb on the D, first finger on an open G. Let me show you all of that fourth bar. One and two and three and four and, okay? Okay, 
Then we move and we play. We're into the fourth line on the chart now. Or this kind of fifth bar of this bridge section. We play an open E string with the thumb. The second fret of the D string with the first finger. An open G. And then the second fret of that D string with the second with the first finger. Pluck in that one. Okay, so the first finger is the finger being used to fret that second fret note. Then we put our second finger onto the third fret of the A, and we pluck third fret of the A with the thumb, first finger gets the D string, second finger gets the open G, and the first finger catches that second fret of the D string again. Really nice when the strings are next to each other like that. So we've got... five of this section. Move your first finger to the second fret of the G and drop your second finger to the third fret of the low E and we get three on the low E, open D, second fret on the G, open D. Then we drop down, second finger goes to the second fret of the low E, third finger on the second fret of the G. And it's thumb on the low E, open D string, second fret of the G, open D. That bar. We're coming to the end of this middle eight section now, this bridge. And we're going to put our second finger on the second fret of the D, third finger on the second fret of the G. And we're going to play with the thumb, the open A string. Then we're going to play... 2nd fret of the D with the 1st finger, 2nd fret of the G with the 2nd finger, open B with the 3rd finger, and if you're feeling really brave, the open high E with the pinky, so we've gone. If we do it like that, this hand can stay in a position it's used to, because we're going to pick up the chords, and then back down B with the 3rd finger, Second finger on the second fret of the G. First finger to get the second fret of the D. So it's. And the rhythm is one and two and three and four. And each finger has been assigned to a string. Got, sorry, I say finger, I mean digits because of the thumb. Of course, that classic. How many fingers have you got? You could if you wanted. Set off with your thumb for A, D, thumb for two strings, and one, two, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to finish off this eight bar section with the thumb on an open A for a minimum. You might remember I mentioned some minimums crop up, two beat notes earlier on, and then an open D. So we get open A for two beats, open D for two beats. Let's just take the second four second half of this new section that we've been working on. So, there's bar one, and then, there's that kind of fifth bar of the whole section. And it finishes off with that open A, open D. I'm going to play the first four bars of this middle eight section. The second half of this middle or B section gives us Now, there's a temptation in the penultimate bar to put a full A down. Make sure you keep that open B string. And that's our middle eight. At the end of it, there's an instruction, D, C, Al, Coda. D, dot, C, Al, Coda. And that sends us right back to the start of the song to pick up that section again. Now, D, C, Al, Coda means go back up to the start and play up to the Coda 
instruction. So when we go back to the start, we play the first six bars and then we see to coda and we see the coda symbol, which is the circle with the crosshairs over it, kind of a target symbol. That's above the end of bar six. We ignored it earlier because it hadn't come into action yet. So when we get to that, we skip all the way to the end of the song, which in our book is the bottom line. There's three bars of music. Just to repeat that, we play eight bars at the start of the song. It's in repeat, so we do it again. That gives us 16 bars. Then we move into our middle eight section. That thing, and when we get to the end of that middle eight, there's a DC alcoder instruction. Hit that all the way back to the start, remembering to lift up the volume again because we're mezzo forte again. Now the playing along, boop, 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 first six bars, and at the end of the sixth bar, there's the to coder instruction. Skip over everything in search of the coder symbol, and it will say coder next to it. It's the circle with the target over it. And it's basically skipping out that section to take us to an ending. And our ending is... This thing. I made a bit of a hash of that. Let's do it in kind of a bit more of a, a diligent way. So, open A string, first fret on the B string. We pluck them, like we've done with the whole song, pretty much, when it's the A and the B together. Thumb gets the A, second finger gets the B. We're back to quavers here, so. Then an open G, second finger gets the first fret of the B, open G. We've seen that pattern before. And then we play third finger on the third fret of the B, first finger on the second fret of the A, and we get those two together, A and B, so thumb and second finger. Then an open G, and then just three on the B with the second finger at the end. So that's three and four. That whole bar. And we finish with a diminuendo above our tablature notes or below our treble clef notes. That's telling us to gradually get quieter. Now we only need to worry about three more things. The third fret of the A string with an open B for two beats because it's a minimum, and then five on the A and four on the D. So we've gone... When it's five on the A I use my thumb, four on the D I use my set first finger. They're together. And then three on the low E, open G, to finish our tonic of a G, so G major. But in this instance, it's just G. So we've gone. So our ending all together. One, two, three, four, to end there. Fantastic. What a beautiful piece. Well done, Andy Wilson, who's arranged this Misty Hill for the grade three syllabus for London College of Music's acoustic guitar graded system.